Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Plus919 to Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord and the Hybrid Trader. I am absolutely excited about this. To the people that watch the uh, Asiri 1000 Day Challenge, my traders were nothing compared to this. When I said those were some of the worst traders I ever had, I was not exaggerating at all. They literally are some of the worst. No, I don't want to go too far over. These guys are absolutely amazing. And this is what I talk about with um, simming. You know, I'll come up to these 10 guys. I'll sim them. They're going to give loot. And I lost two guys. But look at 1.7 renown. We got prisoners. And they did give out loot. There's an eight. Well, you already have an eight, but you don't actually have a helm. We gotta look for a helm for you, buddy boy. And you actually don't have anything. <laughs> and then you get that. All right. So I will do that. Um. I really want to increase these so bad. Okay. Uh, no, let's. We gotta check this first. I'm just absolutely shocked by the Falcon. It, it, he's gonna. He could be the best I think I've ever had. Ooh, wow. 42. Wow. He's going to probably go take him out. Uh, let's look and see if we got a extortion by deserters sitting here. Which we don't. That's fine. We don't have a train the troops yet, so we're not worried about that. Alright, Cow Thief gets a new horse. he went to 10 riding so we already know he gets a horse we just want to double check you never know if she moves and of course we want to hit trade buy that wool it's a lot but buy it because what you're doing is you're you're keeping that price up look at this both of them making over 200 you go down into a Siri territory and you can sell it and we will sell it when we get down there. Nope. Uh, I could get some butter and cheese. Ooh, a little high on the price. They're definitely not cheap. Uh, let's head up to Otengard and see if she is up there. We want the swift as quick as possible so we know what we're doing. Let's hope she is here, like it says. You. All right, come on. I know you're gonna cost over two grand, but please don't be hard capped. Come on. Don't let me see red. Yes, and neither is her freaking steward. She may be 14, but she's almost 15. Not hard capped. All right. So her next level will push her to 100. So she, oh, she's almost hard capped on that too. 
Uh, she's got a little bit there, not much. So she needs to go two-handed. She will need a little bit of steward. She's got to get that level. All right, so she needs steward as well. She probably needs to go steward next. So we can get her out of here. But So she's not ready to go. But she does need a two-hander. So not as... as happy as I could be. I guess we're giving her a step for right now because we don't have any others. And she needs a two-hander. Not a one-hander. And unfortunately I did not hold on to any of them. Damn it. <sighs> 500. Wasted. I'd really love to get a ball. And I want, I'll buy one more for now. That way it gives me two for my next person. Okay, so Swift actually needs to go next. Swift, Cow Thief, then Falcon. Is that what I'm doing? Who's going next? Is it Cow Thief or Falcon? Well, actually, Cow Thief only needs one level. Although he's got a lot of writing. Yeah, he's got a lot of writing. Oh, and he's got scouting. I should have him scouting right now. Oh, no, he's doing... Once he, Okay, once he gets done with Steward, then he needs to scout, because that's a lot of, of raw EXP. I don't think I can get him another level. However, this is a lot of EXP that will count towards it. He's got four points to get, so he can hit 150. So, okay, so he's going now. Okay, so what we need to do is, I think we need to hit a Siri territory. I don't really want to do Sea Raiders. I could do... Oh, man. Um, I want to get the Swift out. It's either Sea Raiders or Train the Troops. Or I'll... This is uh, what I mean by grinding. And this is why I say I don't do this. You pull everybody back. And then you send them out to just go in a circle and let them go. Because they're going to gain a bunch of riding and bow. You can already see it. Cow Thief gained a riding. You'll see that white in the lower left. Two riding, actually. There's a point in riding. That, that's all skill points. That, they're gonna, that allows them to get another trade skill so much faster. You might only get them a half a level. But that's a half a level quicker they can level. There the cow thief leveled. This I don't think you want to watch for a full hour or two hours. But they will use their bows. And then when they run out of arrows, then they will go to their one-handers. So normally what I'll do is I'll let it go for a couple minutes and then I don't want them to do that because most likely what's going to happen to them is they're going to end up running up with somebody that's got a spear 
and is going to stop their horse, and then they're going to get injured. So, you know, after a little bit, finally I'll just go in and try to pick some off. And that also helps me gain skill, but we don't want them going, you know, hand to hand. Now, the uh, really cool thing is if they got 30 skill, you could give them a crack simple short bow, which really dries their skill up because it has so much more accuracy. So it's really cool to do that. But that, you know, if you don't get them by an extortion by deserters, you know, that costs five grand to buy those. Where are you going? Sorry. Goodbye. They're running. I probably shouldn't be using the two-hander, although I do love it. Come here. So that's what grinding is. And that's why I tell people I don't normally show grinding. Because it's just, it's simply that. I just did it. Now I'm going to find another group and do it again and again until they are ready to go. So we already know the cow thief leveled. So now we have put that boom into his trade. He's got 60. So we're going to still grind him some of his levels. But he should be able to easily hit his next level. And then once you start hitting these points of experience, that's a ton of raw XP. He should have no problem getting up there as well. So, realistically, they're all set. They could all go if, they, if I wanted to. Every one of them. Uh, she needs one level. She desperately needs a level. But she could still get three more points. So... You know, at this point, you almost decide, okay, do I take him off of this or do, do I keep him going? Because get it, you can get him up to like 40, and that's quite a bit of experience. So, once he gets done with this, we'll switch him over to Scout. However, we do need to make sure that uh, what we need to get is 22,500. Because that's how much we need to send out the Swice Vendor. Now I am doing this because that's a pretty good amount of renown. They have us outnumbered. So that's a really good amount of renown. I just wish I could get some crack simple short bows, but however, I d I can't spend the five thousand on it. Because I need to make sure I got twenty two thousand five hundred to send out the slice sender. I hit them with a I hit them with a bow and they don't get uh, stunned as long as I do. They're immediately throwing another freaking rock. I said that they are way overpowered. Looters are. There is no reason that a group of ten looters should be able to defeat me in almost end game armor. It shouldn't be possible unless their rocks are made out of freaking diamonds.
That all helps with skill. Further away you are and the more headshots you get, the more EXP you get. Oh, I actually lost two guys. Huh. I know somebody was missing a helmet. Met 54. Wow, my brother's really good. Wow. 162 steward, 140 tactics. That's really good. The medicine sucks. Not much roguery, but... And his skills are a little lacking in areas, but he's pretty good. Yeah, Spice Vendor, like I said, Spice Vendor's ready to go. Um, she's going to go out on foot to begin because she's got more points. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a battle for her. To get that level, uh, I do see her running into possibly some problems. Because the only hope is that, you know, she really needs to fight. Look at all that. That's where all her levels are. She really needs to make a group and fight one-handed for a while. That would really help her. But uh, she's done. I got to really watch the county. Uh I got to make a determination on him when I'm going to call him good. Um, I really do want to hit a Siri territory. I was hoping I would find a train the troops, but you can also find uh, extortion by deserters through here. We just need to get that next clan tier. And then once I get to clan tier, I buy my last workshop, get my last companion, and then it's just get them all together and get them sent out. You're, you're really done. Once they're sent out, boom, you're on to trading. But it's, it takes a bit because... 22,500 to send them out. That's a lot of money. I need horses. I am still low on horses. This is a quick one. This is just F4, F, you know, it's 4, F1, F3. I could actually just say charge. Uh, I'm not really doing anything. This is just kill them off as quick as possible. Uh, we're doing a train to truce to get money. We need massive money right now. Because we don't have enough to get a workshop, let alone send out a companion. We need about... About what, 37... 30... 35, 36,000 to do the two things we need to do. Yeah, need a ton of money. And I do want to, I do still need to, I can do that with, I can do Arwa. No pun intended. When uh, I go to grinding. I want to get Arwa and start having some kids for a later test. Oh, we're up to six. We're getting more money for train the troops. It's going to be like 2,700 now. It'll actually go up to like, uh, is it 20? I'm trying to remember if it's 20. I know I've done a 15 or 16 before, in which you get like over 4,000 for a train of truth. It's pretty crazy. But the same thing goes for uh, extortion by deserters and uh, caravan ambush. The higher up you go, the higher up that they go. But you also get more rewards. Man, 
Good old tier three shooting. Missed him. Missed him. Got him. Missed him again. Oh, I think they got him. Yeah, they got him. That's four. More. I would think that eight would do it, hopefully. I'm hoping to get some uh, extortion by deserters. Uh, you can really make a, a ton of money with that. And I mean a ton. You can get three, five, ten thousand dinar items. It's pretty crazy what you can get. Charge! See, I'm, I was hoping to finish this off so the next episode I could grind. Well, it wouldn't be the next episode. It would be then grind. And then I immediately come back, ship the guys out, and go to trading. Because you don't want to spend too long doing this because you're cutting into your thousand days. So you do want to get it done as soon as possible. However, like I said, you got to have money to do it. That's the biggest thing. And then you got to have money after that so you can buy all your horses, which I should be, of course, be doing, buying all the pack horses. And then you got to buy your initial stuff because it, it's quite expensive. Oh, come on. Oh, I hit him again. Seriously, I think I've hit him three times. How am I not hitting him? Oh, jeez. What kind of shot was that? Only that's it for them. I really would love that extortion. Nope, it's five. Oh. Never mind, you can go. That. 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 Damn it. It gave up. Cowards. All I need is one more. Alright, are we done with this? Uh, the problem with extortion by deserters is it takes a while to do. However, it is just such great money. Almost three grand. Yeah, they're done. It's like, t I'm going to get like 2,700. Oh, 2491. Probably because I lost the guy. Oh, tactics don't matter. Alright, you got 25 there. You got 29 there. You're almost done there. No, Swift is next. 
Okay, um, hopefully you can find some extortion by deserters. Which probably won't have a good time of doing it. I'd like to pick up some dates since they are really cheap here. Freaking in and out. Stupid quest. Jeez. Yeah, you're just gonna get junk for now, but hopefully we'll worry about that soon enough. No. I bought that Sumter horse, which means I gotta lock it. There, now we should be good. Now we're good. Ah, it's just the same thing. I, I guess I did lock it last time. Ah, let's just get done with this. See, dates are just so damn cheap. It's like you gotta buy them. Deer is eh. It's not super cheap. Dates, however, are. We wanna we wanna be careful and not buy too much. No, just escort. We do not want an escort caravan. We would take a caravan ambush. Crap, we need horses. This is what I'll do. Actually, I'm a hard time catching them. But, it's like, okay. Eh, I lost one guy. Okay, who cares. I got all that stuff. Yeah, you're always going to be a freaking bandit base. Caravan ambush. Can I do a caravan ambush with 35 guys? Alright, I think I could do it with 38. What I hate about this is it says to stay away from them, but if you stay too far away, they'll die before you can get to get to them. This isn't the greatest one, in my opinion, for money. It's amazing for faction. That it's good for. But money, it doesn't seem to give great loot. I didn't look to see where you were going. So it says stay away, but if you, if you get too far away, all right, here they come. Uh, you're running. Don't run. They're down to 12, nine. You gotta be freaking careful. And then here's the loot, which is okay. It's not great. 
It's definitely not great. But the 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 relation you get is just you can't be beat. See I only got eight hundred and eighty eight, which isn't that great. It really isn't. I am actually going to Sanala. Why don't we take that and head to Sanala? I was really hoping I'd be done. However, without having extortion by deserters, it really hurts you. Really badly. Of course, what can help you is this. Just anyone you find. Boom. 1.5 for now. Literally. That's, that's one of the best things you can do. You're going to lose, guys. But you're only running tier 1s and 2s. So you can just replenish them. Now we'll stop off here real quick. Prince Hills knowing. Oh, no. No. Ooh. I always hate it when I almost buy that. Guy gets me going. What do I have? I'm guessing Palfreys? What am I taking there? What the heck am I taking? Desert horses. So I can't sell them because I already have desert horses on me. Yeah, just can't get an extortion by deserter. I was really hoping to have this done this episode. So we could finish off the next and be done, but look at this. Nothing. How the heck are you ever supposed to get 60? Unless you can get a bunch of green quests. That's kind of how I say... How are you ever supposed to get peons? There are no quests available. And Batania is one of the smallest empires. You may not think it is, but it is really small. You know, because uh, part of their territory is held by Vlandia. You got another caravan ambush? Nope. This is where I want to buy, though. This right here. This is dirt freaking cheap. That can give me money right there. If I buy all that and take that back up north, oh, that could make me money. Get to the villager. As long as there's a couple places that are paying decent prices, I can I can get fifty to seventy percent more of my money. I can be up to twenty thousand. Now, unfortunately, I can't do escort caravan or caravan uh, ambush because I'm too slow. However, this, they have a really good chance of buying grain. 
Um, you just hope to catch them at a good time. But they can have really cheap, or uh, they can be paying a, a decent amount for grain, 10 or more. And that's what you hope to get. They'll have cheap fish. So you just hope. Yep, there they go. I bought it for eight, and I'm gonna sell it down to ten. There you go. Two thousand right there, and I can actually buy more of this now. Now I can get rid of some of my wool. There, I just gained 11 points. 11 in one sale. I was hoping some villagers would be coming over here. However, I don't see the villagers because I would like to buy their horses. Here come villagers. Here come a bunch of villagers. I can't catch them. All right. Well, I'm screwed. I don't think I'm gonna catch them all. At 10, 10 each. Can I catch them? Nope. Instead of paying 100 for them, I'm paying 10 for them. I'll take yours, thank you. Oh no. You got away from me, damn it. Another villager. I just, I can't let him go. There, I probably just saved myself. Three thousand dinars, probably. And while that's not a m much compared to millions in this part of the game, that is a ton of money saved. And now I don't have to worry about buying them. Look, there's more villagers. Oh, let's hope they have a good price and they have an amazing price Boom 13 more points That's how it's done. That's why I said plan ahead for the trade. Get that trade going. Because now all of a sudden, look at what I'm gaining. <laughs> and I got 12,000 on me. Unfortunately, no extortion by deserters. I was making sure I didn't have a train the troops on me. You know, unfortunately, I didn't get that. That sucks. However, you can see it's really good money I have now. I mean... More for 10. That's cheap. You can see how the red, yellow, green doesn't work here. It works at 75. They screwed up. Yeah, they screwed it up, the game. And I'm afraid to say anything because the last time I said something, they screwed things up so bad it took two months to get this working again. So you think I want to say something? Uh, no. Oh, 
Unfortunately, I'm not going to get it done this episode, which is really sad. I was really hoping to have my clan tier 2 done in this episode and be done. I was really hoping to have it done. We do have a caravan ambush we can do. Mind doing another caravan ambush, and then I probably should end it. We're just getting so close, it kind of sucks. I was really hoping to have that all done so I could grind and then get to the really good stuff. The trading, fighting, just start letting loose. However, I'm not going to make it tonight. I have 33, I want more. I do need horses though. There, I'm 5.7. Okay, that makes me happier. Which way are you going? I'm assuming you're going to Poros. Stay a bit further away. Yeah, so they can get their butt kicked. By 32 of them. Hardly no loot, you see this? Virtually no loot. Alrighty, let's see how much you got it for. Well, not great. They don't have a great price on a uh, fish. Already up to 40. And of course the next point has to go to trade. You gotta top it out. You can already see I'm down to 8.71. That's gonna go down pretty damn fast. And then the next point I also get a social. So I'm going to jump up from a 170 to a 210 learning limit, and that's really going to help it fly, but uh, I think I think it's okay, as you can see, we'll get the clan tier in the next level, and then we're going to, I don't know what I'm actually going to do. We are super close to being able to send out the spice vendor. I may want to send out the spice vendor. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I should send out the spice vendor or if I should buy the workshop. The so workshop's going to net me a guaranteed 200. See, they're still pulling over 200. So I don't know. I'm going to think about it for the next episode and figure out we do have another caravan ambush. So I have to remember that for the next episode. We're going to do that caravan ambush and then we are going to um, get that finished. And then we do need to find another companion that's going to be as good as what we have. I forgot to check out him real quick. Kyle Thief is up to 35. I'm going to call that good. We want to swap it over. He is going to do Scout. And then the Swift is doing Quartermaster, if I remember correctly. Yep, we want the Swift to get Quartermaster so she could finish that. She'll be ready to go, and then we'll finish off with the Falcon. So, well, I will see you all in the next episode. Everything is coming along really well. Take care, and thanks for watching.